This video goes through the process of making a plaster case for a flexible silicon skin mould. Make sure your silicon skin mould is cured, cleaned up and close at hand. Mix up the plaster. Use the same method as that shown in the video on mixing plaster to fill the silicon mould. There will be a slight difference in the way we use the plaster mix though. We need to wait a longer period of time until it starts to stiffen up and has some plasticity so we can smear it over the surface of the silicon skin. Whilst you're waiting for the plaster to go off, draw a line around the outer perimeter of the silicon rubber mould. Give yourself about 20 centimetres. This will help to guide you when you're laying the plaster over the surface. When the plaster thickens till it's just pourable, scoop it out with the container and dribble it over the surface of the silicon rubber mould. Gradually as the plaster thickens, you can start to work it with your hands or a rubber kidney, similar to the way you did with Clone FX. After a while the plaster will start to become creamy, then stiffen up and peak like a meringue. Not quite as tasty though. When it becomes a little firmer, you can take a wooden board and smooth out the top of the mould. This will give it something flat to sit on when it's turned up the other way. If you use a small spirit level for accuracy, later when you're casting into the mould there won't be any excess material pouring over the low side of the sloping rim. After about 30 minutes when the plaster is fully hardened, you can flex the board over the edge of a table to crack the seam and then pull the mould off the surface. Take out the template, then the clay and the silicon rubber mould will follow.